They are some of the richest people in the Arab world. They own palaces, cars, yachts, buildings, a Batmobile and many other crazy things, with them having a combined estimated net worth of around $1.3 trillion. They are the Saudi royal family and Videlo Productions is taking a look at 20 expensive things they own or have owned. Number 20. London Supermansion Previously owned by Saudi Prince Abdul Aziz bin Faud, this massive London home was recently sold for around £19.2 million. The home is located in Kensington, West London, on a street with people like the Sultan of Brunei and Britain's richest man, Lakshmi Mittal, and is so expensive that only a handful of buyers were pre-approved to view homes with the buyer remaining anonymous. The three-story property covers 32,000 square feet and features inside the home are thought to be undisclosed. The street which the property sits on has been called Billionaire's Row due to the amount of high net worth individuals living there. At the other end of the street sits Kensington Palace, home to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Number 19. Boston Mansion Belonging to Sheikh Faud al Athel, this historic landmark, known for its intricately detailed interior, is being converted into flats thanks to a $35 million renovation. The Arms Webster Mansion in Boston's Back Bay covers 26,000 square feet and it's thought a conversion into a select number of apartments is underway. We believe the exact number to be three. Sheikh Faud is the CEO of a holding company with interests in healthcare, technology, real estate and agriculture and he bought the mansion sight unseen for $14.5 million in 2013. The three units, which include a triplex penthouse, are coming on the market later this year starting at more than $20 million each. Number 18. Custom Airbus A380 Behold the unlimited wallet of Saudi Prince Al Walid bin Talal, the man who bought and then sold the largest flying passenger plane in the world at the time, the Airbus A380. The Prince has a net worth of over $18 billion and spent an additional $200 million on personal configurations to the aircraft, which turned it into a flying palace. So what does $500 million buy you then? Well, first off, there was an elevator that connects his master bedroom suite to the tarmac, so he did not have to use the stairs. The plane included 20 smaller private rooms, a concert hall with grand piano, a parking space for his Rolls Royce, and a marble Haman tiled steam room with spa treatments. Other features include a spiral main staircase, a boardroom with holographic monitors, and a prayer room with computer monitored prayer mats. If you thought that was insane, then he went further, putting a relaxation zone which includes a Turkish bath lined with marble in the belly of the aircraft. The plane had a maximum top speed of 647 miles per hour, a total range of around 8,000 miles, and a wingspan of 261 feet 8 inches. What's even more interesting, you ask? Well, when I said he sold the A380, he actually sold it just before it was finished. Yes, that's right, he never even flew in it. Number 17, Moroccan Summer Retreat. Thought to be a 74-acre purpose-built summer palace, it's thought Saudi Arabia's King Salman spent over $100 million on this summer retreat located in Morocco. Vast renovation works were carried out on the property in 2016, including new buildings, helipads, and a big top tent to entertain guests. The sprawling Tangier complex near Cape Spartel also includes its own medical facilities and luxury restaurants. The palace overlooks golden beaches and the summer hideaway in Tangier is said to be his favourite. Number 16, Los Angeles Estate. Another property that has now been offloaded by the late Saudi Prince Saud Al Faisal, this massive $110 million home was originally purchased for $145 million. Located on about 14 acres, this massive mansion features more than 35,000 square feet of interior space, as well as manicured outdoor spaces with tree-lined promenades. There is a tennis court and a swimming pool, along with a dramatic courtyard entrance with a water feature and additional guest and staff residences. The owner of the property was Saudi Prince Saud Al Faisal, who died in 2015, and his wife, Princess Johora, inherited the property. Number 15, 1961 Mercedes-Benz 300D. During King Salomon's visit to Amman, Jordan, he was picked up in a car that dates back to the 1960s. The same vehicle was used in 1961 for the wedding of King Abdullah II's late father, King Hussein, and his mother, Princess Mona Al Hussein. 
The 1961 Mercedes-Benz 300D is one of the most important cars from the collection of Jordan's Royal Automobile Museum. In 1961, the car had a price of around $10,400 to $13,660. However, these days, with the car being a collector's item, prices of $276,000 are more the norm. Number 14, Al Salamar Yacht. Launched in 1999 at a cost of $300 million, it was the third largest motor yacht in the world and stood at a length of 139 meters. The boat belonged to the late Saudi Arabian Crown Prince, Prince Sultan bin Abdul Aziz, and had a top cruising speed of 21.5 knots. Al Salamar offers accommodation for up to 40 guests, compromising two owner cabins, 11 VIP cabins, eight twin cabins, with her also capable of carrying 94 crew in 37 cabins. Powered by two MTU 8837 diesel engines, she has been described as a palace on the ocean and her water tanks are thought to store around 430,000 litres of fresh water. The luxury yacht features a gym, elevator, helipad, swimming pool, swimming platform, air conditioning system, beauty room, medical suite, owner study, anchor stabilizers, tender garage and a guest study. Number 13, the Erga Palace. Being described as so lavish and extensive that non-royals in the kingdom rarely get to see inside it, the Erga Palace is one of the biggest in Saudi Arabia. The palace is mainly used to host government functions, state receptions and cultural festivals that introduce Saudi arts and customs to the international community. The palace is surrounded by fountains, high walls and security is extremely tight. So tight in fact that it was the only place where then US President Barack Obama met Saudi Arabia's King Salman in 2016. It's unknown just what else lies inside this monstrous facility, although pictures from the Obama visit show meeting rooms and a personal office of the king. Number 12, the Promotion Palace. What do you do with 250,000 square feet of land? Build your own massive palace come home. And that's exactly what Prince Al-Walid's inherited palace is, a custom built home for him. What features does this insane property have you ask? Well, it has three swimming pools, its own private mosque, 317 rooms that are adorned with 1,500 tons of Italian marble and silk oriental carpets. Other crazy things include gold plated faucets, and 250 TV sets with the massive palace slash home thought to have cost over $300 million. It has four kitchens for Arabic, continental and Asian cuisines and a fifth just for dishing up desserts run by chefs who can feed 2,000 people on an hour's notice. If that wasn't enough, there is also a lagoon shaped pool that's after the three other pools and a 45 seat basement cinema, Madness. Number 11, Private Prison. For those who have fallen on the wrong side of the family, the king owns his own private prison that is thought to house rogue princesses and princes. al Hair Prison is the highest security in the kingdom and sources say nearly 60 detainees were transferred recently in an anti-corruption sweep. Decades-long systematic corruption and embezzlement is thought to have landed certain high-profile individuals in the institution. Don't forget to check out our video on 12 expensive things owned by WWE Chairman Vince McMahon. Links in the description and coming at the end of the video. Number 10, Serene Luxury Yacht. The 439.30 foot custom motor yacht Serene was delivered in 2011 and is the property of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. The yacht sleeps up to 24 guests across 15 cabins and is also capable of carrying up to 52 crew on board to ensure a fully optimized luxury yacht experience. Features on board include a helicopter hangar, two helipads, an internal seawater swimming pool, hot and cold jacuzzis and a jet stream swimming pool on the sun deck. There is also a submarine garage and cinema on offer with guests able to use the gym, lift, submarine garage and cinema. Serene is equipped with an ultra-modern stabilization system which helps to reduce raw motion to provide a smooth and more enjoyable cruising experience. Number 9. Jeddah Tower Previously known as the Kingdom Tower, Jeddah Tower is a super tall skyscraper under construction on the north side of Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. It is planned to be the world's first one kilometer high building, is the brainchild of Saudi Arabian Prince Al Walid bin Talal, who owns 33% of the building and is costing around $20 billion to construct. The building will take around 10 years to build, sit on a plot of 50 hectares, and will house a Four Seasons hotel, Class A office space, and luxury condominiums. The building will have a total of 59 elevators, three sky lobbies, 3,000 to 4,700 car underground parking garage spaces, and a large shopping mall. 
The tower will have 252 stories, a gross floor area of 2.6 million square feet, and is expected to be so large that it will be its own self-contained city. Number 8. Switzerland Home Sitting on 202,362 square feet, this massive property, which once belonged to Gustave Odor, who served as Swiss president in the early 20th century. The property was purchased in 2013 by Princess Latifa bin Faud bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, who is 59 and a daughter of the former King Faud. There are reports the property cost around $62 million and is the second highest price on record in the area of Lake Geneva. The villa on the estate is protected along with other properties overlooking Lake Geneva and only outlying buildings on the estate are able to be converted. Once again, no information about the inside. It's strictly off limits, but you can use your imagination. Number 7. The Four Seasons Hotel George V Owned by Prince Alwaleed Ben Talal, this is also one of the most historic luxury hotels in Paris and is incredibly well known in the hospitality world. Rooms cost $1,000 per night and the hotel is said to be worth several hundred million dollars with the prince saying on record that he will never sell it. Built in 1928 just off the historic Champs-Élysées, the hotel features oversized suites with Eiffel Tower views, three restaurants with Michelin stars and an elegant swimming pool and courtyard. The hotel offers its own private jet experience for VIP guests and has one of the most luxurious spa suites in the whole of Paris. Number 6. Chateau Louis XIV Palace We are getting serious now and that is exactly what Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is a serious man. When it comes to property, he is even more serious, offloading $320 million on this amazing 17th century palace that is in fact a new build property. The newly built chateau features many insane things, including a massive cinema, deluxe swimming pool, and a transparent underwater moat. The 57-acre plot includes manicured gardens, gold leaf fountain, marble statues, and a maze with huge driveway and car parking spaces. Number 5. Custom Boeing 747 Flying can be a boring and uncomfortable experience, that is unless you are the one and only Saudi Prince Al Walid bin Talal. He owns one of the most exclusive and most expensive private 747s in the world that is thought to have cost him around $500 million after upgrades. This plane is crazy and features two luxurious bedrooms on the lower deck, a 13-seat dining room area covered in gold, and the plane even has its own gold throne, where he sits when he is observing his empire from the air. There is seating for a large number of passengers at the back of the plane, several relaxation areas and conference facilities. Number 4. New Kingdom 5KR Yacht This 85.65 metre motor yacht owned by Prince Alwaleed bin Talal was built in 1980 and is thought to have cost around $100 million. Features inside include 11 cabins that can accommodate 22 guests and 30 crew in 15 cabins and it was featured in the James Bond movie Never Say Never Again in which it was seen as a flying saucer, the villain's super yacht mobile headquarters. When it was delivered, it had five decks, a disco, a cinema with seats for 12, a helipad on top and a pool with a water jet on top in front of the heliport. The yacht has a top speed of 20 knots, a cruising speed of 17.5 knots and propulsion is supplied by two 3,000 horsepower Noab Polar engines. Number 3. Quasar al Hakam Palace Officially the seat of national government until the death of King Abdulaziz in 1953, al Hakam Palace is enormous, covering 11,500 square metres. The royal family now open the palace to the public, with free exhibitions celebrating the unusual coincidence of the Saudi National Day and the Islamic holiday marking the end of the Hajj pilgrimage. The palace has been rebuilt three times in the past century and is now the home to the capital's municipal government. Features include a gargantuan 1,200 square metre hall where royal guests are entertained at dinners and receptions coronation room and king's office. A private bridge between the palace and the Grand Mosque that sit opposite the palace was constructed after the assassination of Imam bin Turki bin Abdullah al-Saud in 1834. Number 2. Batmobile Created by Saudi Arabia's teen Galag, the Batmobile 2.0 is one of the most detailed and eye-catching Batmobile replicas ever seen outside of Hollywood. The vehicle is based on a Lamborghini Gallardo chassis and it features a wicked 5.2 litre V10 engine and is based on the Batmobile design from the Arkham Knight Batman games. 
The body is made almost entirely of carbon fibre and the car is said to have cost more than $1.3 million to build. Number 1. Gawa Oil Field The source of much of the wealth of the Saudi government, the Gawa Oil Field is located in Al Hassa, Eastern Province, Saudi Arabia. The current production of oil is around 5 million barrels per day and relatively little other technical information is publicly available. Measuring 280 by 30 kilometers, it is by far the largest conventional oil field in the world and is entirely owned and operated by Saudi Aramco, the state-run Saudi oil company. Approximately 60 to 65% of all Saudi oil production between 1948 and 2000 came from Gawa, and in April 2000, a news conference reported in Saudi media said that over 65 million barrels have been produced from the field since 1951. It's thought the oil field produces around $171.6 billion worth of profit annually. Thanks for watching our video on 20 expensive things owned by the Saudi royal family. Please throw a like on the video to support the ongoing series, comment down below if you think I missed anything, and subscribe for more top list videos coming soon.